What's up guys, Giver here. And uh, it's just kind of a <clears throat> midweek video. Uh, we've got a Planeswalker deck here that I've never opened. I've actually got the Rivals Planeswalker decks. I've got, I don't know, all kinds of Planeswalker decks. And these really don't make for the best videos because it's just kind of a pre-packaged deck. But there are a couple packs with it, so I figured might as well open it on camera instead of just sitting here in the basement opening it by myself so let's take a look this is the Liliana Planeswalker deck and it comes with Liliana Death Wielder um, kind of expensive seven mana Planeswalker put a minus one minus one counter on something destroy it with a minus three and then you can bring all your graveyard creatures back to the battlefield it's I'm sure it's fine in this Planeswalker deck but you know this isn't really something that you'd be playing with um, in standard speaking of standard I'm planning on making a video maybe tomorrow uploading it of uh, my standard deck a couple people had asked me about my standard deck that I play with and I'll upload it it's pretty much just a uh, Grixis style deck but it's got some things in it that most people don't expect it's not really your standard Grixis deck so I don't know so here's what we got we got Chandler initiates these are actually pretty good um, there's a guy at my local shop who has like a homebrew deck he used these Chandler initiates with uh, the river crocodiles or yeah I think they're called river crocodiles uh, they're something in Amonkhet when they come into play they're like a 5-4 with haste and when they come into play you put a minus one minus one counter on something they only cost like four mana puts the minus one minus one on these channeler initiates and uh, just lets them keep giving mana you know it's pretty good oracles of vault Exile top card. Put a brick counter. Exile top card. Continue to pay it without paying its mana cost. Only if there are three or more brick counters. Okay, so whatever. And then you've always got the Liliana cards that usually let you search for the Planeswalker of the deck. Festering Mummy, Dune Beetles, Tattered Mummies. So it looks like. It looks like this whole deck is nothing but uh, minus one, minus one counters, which work well with your Liliana there because she can destroy them. Um, it also means that most of your creatures are, you know, they're smaller creatures, one twos, that kind of thing, but they're making the opponent's critters smaller. Um, so, you know, there it is Crocodile of the Crossing. Uh, five four with haste for four mana puts a minus one minus one so hey look at that those two cards work really well together <clears throat> um, giant spiders decimator beetle a bunch of lands usually there's some more cards back here trial of ambition edifice of authority so okay you get the deal it's a planeswalker now in the past, I've usually had pretty good uh, luck with these. Only on a couple occasions have I not pulled something from these Planeswalker pack packs. So today we've got this girl versus this guy. Which one will win? Place your bets. Um, if you're watching and you want to play along, pause the video right here. Put down in the comments which one do you think is going to win and by when i mean which which pack do you think it's going to have better stuff in it so go ahead make your comments we're going to try this guy first we're pretty much just going to look so we got a trial of ambition a patra's mark 
trial of solidarity and Bantu okay that's cool I actually don't have Bantu so I'm all about that it's a mythic I'm down <laughs> and and we got a foil rare foil pull for tom from tomorrow um, I've seen it played in a couple decks but still okay so I hope you guys said the guy was gonna win because so far you know we got a we got a fairly decent mythic and we got a foil rare so this one's gonna have to have pretty good card in it for her to win I can already tell just by feeling there's no foil in here. So True Heart Twins, Grave Digger, Weaver of Currents, and Glyph Keeper. So, yeah, we got a Hydra token. So there it is guys. Clearly, the uh, the pack with the dude on it won. So that's it. Just a quick video, six minutes. If you like it, um, you know, like the video, leave me a comment. I've got some other Planeswalker decks that I'm gonna go ahead and open up, and some dual decks and things like that. Just as some kind of filler throughout the week while we're doing um, while we're waiting for the box opening video. So anyway, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Peace.